Good evening, everyone. You can see it's going on about 10 o'clock here. And actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock. Here in Pineville, Missouri, my clock's a little fast. Anyway, about 10 minutes fast, but um, we're ready tonight for the third chapter of Matthew. We've been working through Matthew. I'm going to read it and make a few comments on it. I think you'll find it an interesting chapter, as all of the Bible is interesting. In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea, and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The prophet, voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of his path straight. And the same John had his raiment of camel's hair and a leather girdle about his loins, and his meat was locust and wild honey. Then went out to him, Jeru then went out to him Jerusalem and all Judea and all the region round about Jordan, and were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said to them, "O generation of vipers!" Who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth therefore fruit, meat for repentance. And think not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that God is able to these of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. I baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him, but John forbade him, saying, I have need be baptized of thee. Comest thou to me? Jesus answered and said to him, Suffer it be so for now, for thus it becometh to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting on him, and a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Well, there's a lot in this chapter, a lot of things that can be pointed out. Notice that John the Baptist started out by preaching in the wilderness. You know, in the wilderness. There was a church in the wilderness in the Old Testament. And John's preaching was a preaching of repentance. And he quoted Isaiah. By the way, that's one of my favorite prophets in the Old Testament is Isaiah because so much of Isaiah is messianic. And Isaiah foretold John the Baptist in his book. And it appears that John the Baptist had quite a following because it said um, in Jerusalem and Judea and all the region round about Jordan went out to him. And he actually baptized in the river of Jordan people. But he didn't take too kindly to the Pharisees. He called them vipers. And he said, Think not to say you have Abraham as your father. And they kept saying that all the way through the Gospels. They even told Jesus that Abraham was their father. And they're still saying that today. The Jews are still saying that today. And Abraham... you know, was given the faith of Christ. And 
Abraham was not a recipient of grace because of his bloodlines and their Zionist, their ideology basically is because of their bloodlines that they're special people that has nothing to do with anything. Their bloodlines has not anything to do with anything. For by grace you're saved, not of works lest any man should boast. He also says that John the Baptist says that he's that Christ would come and would baptize them with the Holy Ghost and with fire and we see that exemplified in the second chapter of Acts and we see also the baptism of Christ conducted by John the Baptist Notice that Jesus Christ was not sprinkled. Jesus Christ was immersed. Um, in Jordan, in the Jordan River. And again, we see evidence of the Godhead here. We see the Holy Spirit descending on him like a dove. We see Christ himself there and we hear the Father from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. So that's kind of my quick rendition of the third chapter of Matthew. We'll continue next time in the fourth chapter of Matthew. And... Uh, May you have a blessed evening.